Hi, I'm Robin. I'm an artist and instructor here at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art with another Art in Action. Today we're going to be creating a watercolor painting of a landscape with atmospheric perspective. So for this project, you'll need a piece of watercolor paper, a pencil, your watercolor set, if possible, if it has um, a mixing tray on it, that's great. If it doesn't, you can use a plate from your kitchen. You'll need a brush, a paper towel, and a vessel with water. So you might be asking yourself, what is atmospheric perspective? It's the effect that the atmosphere has on an object when viewed from a distance. So if you were looking out at a sea of mountains, you might notice that the ones closest to you, you can see more contrast between the darks and the lights, you can see more detail, and the colors are more saturated. And the mountains that are furthest away from you appear to have very little detail, very little contrast between the darks and the lights, and overall are a lot brighter. Being able to bring atmosphere into your painting is really simple with a few simple techniques and we'll be able to create a more realistic painting. So the first thing that we're gonna go over is when you have a color, how to create a value from it from your darkest color of it to your lightest one. And with watercolor, it's really simple as how much water you are adding to the pigment. So we are going to use this blue and I really want to start out with a dark color first to show how saturated the color can get. So I'm bringing over here, it's this cream-like consistency. And then when I come and paint it, it is very dark and saturated. And then by adding a little water to this and bringing it over, we are starting to create a lighter color. And if we just keep doing that process down, we will eventually get to a color that is close to white. And sometimes you might have to go back in and just do another wash over something to make it a little bit darker so that you can have more variation between the colors going down. So this is really important in that you can see the furthest mountains away from you are going to be that lighter color and the mountains that are closest to you are going to be that darker color. The next thing is how to create a graded wash and a graded wash is creating in one swatch how to create from this dark to this light color. So you're going to want to mix up some more of that blue that's in that cream like consistency and start bringing it down. And then once you get so far, take your paintbrush, put it in the water, get some of that paint off and some of that excess water and start continuing to bring this down. And you can see it's naturally starting to become a lighter color. And so now we go from that dark color to the light color all in one swatch. And that's really important in that the mountains, if you can notice, the ridge lines are all these darker colors, and then they actually go down to the lighter value in each of those mountains. And the sky does the, actually the same thing. It goes from a darker color to a lighter color. It actually is graded into another color. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to do it, a graded wash into um, the blue into the orange. So bring in that darker color and just grade it down. And now that we've gotten it down to almost like a white color, we're going to mix up a little orange. And right below where our water is, we're gonna add that orange line and start going up and get rid of a little orange on our paintbrush and bring that up. And now you've moved from this blue into this white kind of color into the orange, which would mimic a sunset kind of look. And so now we're able to bring these 
different concepts into our painting. So now we're going to create a landscape based off of these concepts. I am going to start by drawing out some mountain lines that would be uh, ones that are closest to you in the foreground. So you can do peaks and rolling hills into valleys. Um, I'm gonna draw a second one. And this is kind of the fun part. You get to come up with an imaginary landscape of what you think this mountain scene will look like. And the third one, I want to have a jagged little peak. And so now I have these three different mountain lines and my sky. So I'm gonna start with doing the sky first. I'm gonna actually wet my paper in the sky area. That's a wet on wet technique that also we'll be using. It helps to distribute the paint and make it a little more diffused looking. So you just wanna get it wet right up into those mountains. I'm leaving a little bit of white space in here so it can look like there's little clouds in here too. And remember to grade it down. So starting to add more water to the area. So the sun is where we're getting this orange part from and it's not going to go on the top of this mountain because you want it right along closest to this horizon line. So I'm just softening the edge, trying to bring it up. If you ever get any water somewhere and pigment that you don't want, you can use a paper towel, kind of get it away. So there's a little bit on my mountain that I don't want. So now I have my skyline all set. I want to start doing my mountains, so I'm gonna have this back one be the most, the lightest of my blue colors. So in my mixing area, I'm just mixing a little bit more water into that pigment that I've created. And we're gonna make sure that we do that graded wash where the pigment's darker towards the top and lighter as it goes down. And now our middle one, we are going to do a little bit darker than this one. I always like having a test sheet over here, so if you want, you can always just test your color before you actually bring it onto your painting. And this one over here is just a continuation of this one, so I'll just add some more color, over same color value. And now our closest mountain is gonna be the darkest and most saturated. And now you can let things dry, see how this color will start um, doing some magic, making things um, move around and you can always come back in and do other washes over it. Otherwise, you've created a simple landscape with atmospheric perspective. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share any work that's inspired by this project. And until next time, it's art in action.